I would say that the company's made really great strides, particularly over the past couple of years in terms of expanding their, their drug discovery and development pipeline. You know, the, the, the company started out as a, a pioneer of you know, guanolate cyclase CGMP biology. Um, the first target was in the um, intestines, and there we were successful in developing a new drug for irritable bowel syndrome as well as a chronic constipation. Um, but what we learned from that led us um, to develop a number of other new me uh, potential medicines that impact not just the, the gut, but other parts of the body as well. And so the science has really expanded from what we initially learned um, in the gut to the rest of the body. And now we're able to target different diseases outside of the, the gastrointestinal system. At Ironwood, people basically wake up every day um, thinking about the patient, and that's what, why they come to work, basically. You know, we, we're here because we want to help patients that have high unmet needs. We want to help people who don't have other options for their illnesses and we're in the process of developing potential new medicines that we believe could be really helpful for a variety of different serious diseases. Prolisiguat is a, the, the, what we call the lead molecule in our series of uh, SGC stimulators. And this group of drugs we think is a, a real innovative quantum leap forward uh, in terms of their potential to impact a number of conditions. The, the guanolate cyclase mechanism, SGC, is really interesting. Guanolate cyclase uh, produces a signaling molecule called CGMP, and that molecule has a lot of different biologic effects across many different tissues. It has effects on uh, the blood vessel and increasing blood flow to tissue. It also has effects on inflammation and fibrosis, reducing both of those. And finally, it has effects on metabolism, including decreasing glucose levels and also cholesterol levels. Prolisiguat stimulates the SGC enzyme to make it produce more CGMP. Prolisiguat is currently being investigated in diabetic nephropathy and um, heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. Diabetic kidney disease is a far uh, more prevalent problem than I think a lot of people appreciate. It is the number one cause of kidney failure in the world, and certainly number one in the United States. And while the numbers have leveled off a little bit, it's still by far uh, three to fourfold higher than hypertension, which is second uh, as a cause of kidney failure. The current standard of care for treating diabetic nephropathy uh, includes glucose and blood pressure control, as well as treatment with uh, ACE inhibitors and ARBs. However, this treatment strategy does not prevent progression to end-stage renal disease and does not decline the prevalence of diabetic nephropathy. Therefore, novel therapeutic options for diabetic nephropathy are urgently needed. Considering the prolisiguat may improve the nitric oxide signaling, we believe this agent may hold promise as a potential treating option for other microvascular complications as well. It's an investigational drug. Uh, that's why we're seeing data in phase 2A at the ADA. But this preliminary data from this investigational drug clearly shows a pretty reasonable safety profile. And on top of that, is showing benefits in terms of reducing blood pressure by as much as five millimeters on top of other blood pressure lowering meds. So in this first study in patients with diabetic kidney disease, we are investigating whether or not Prolisiguat will diminish the loss of albumin or protein in the urine, and by so doing, show promise to delay the progression of kidney disease and prevent or delay the need for either dialysis or transplant. The trial we're presenting at the ADA meeting is a trial of 26 patients who have both diabetes and hypertension. Uh, on balance and in total, we think these data suggest a very beneficial effect will be found for uh, prolisiguat in future studies of diabetic complications, including diabetic kidney disease and other diabetic mi microvascular complications. And so that's what we like about um, prolisiguat and how it works, because it'll have a, the chance to uh, reverse those uh, biologies uh, as well. So uh, prolisiguat um, decreases inflammation, decreases fibrosis, and enhances blood flow. And each of those things we believe is uh, an important aspect of why people get uh, diabetic uh, kidney failure. I would say that you know the thinking about the patient infuses uh, what we do on a daily basis and, and um, that's why we're all in this together is to help patients.